up everybody um this video is in response to both dewan p and gia gia tv um it's about churches and televangelists and how outrageous they're getting nowadays and how things are just insane i'm gonna start off with the bishop polk guy um wow wow that's all i really could say like, I, I don't know if I really feel like these women are fully naive or some people just don't have that knack for knowing what's right and what's wrong. And it's really to that in 2008. Some people really still don't have that sensibility. Um, it's, it's, it just blows my mind that he... <laughs> Like, you're supposed to be of influence to your congregation, you know. And it really, really, really reminds me of why some people are so fearful to step foot into a church and to put their trust in a pastor, a bishop, whatever. Um, I went to church up until the age of 11. Ever since then, I, it was just sporadic. I would go to church. Um, now that I have two children, it, it makes me feel like, should I get into church? Should I get them into church? Should I get them involved in church? And then all these this, these crazy things, they believe it's the devil attacking. And I don't know. I really don't know. I've been to Creflo's church three times, and I still feel uneasy there. I still feel like... I don't want to feel like my pastor is a celebrity. Like, I can't touch him. I can't go. Like, they got security guards. Like, oh, sit down. Where are you going? You know? Like, it just makes me feel really, really uneasy to feel that way. Um, it's, it's crazy, you know. And the guy, the senator that wanted to know where are their money, where their money's coming from, blah, blah, blah. My aunt is like a devoted Creflo Dollar Grower. <laughs> like, she is a part of their congregation. congregation. She goes quite often. Um, and she protects Creflo to the T. And I just listened to her talk, and I'm like, you're a firm believer, huh? Like, you're a firm believer that everything he does is of positive. And I don't want to say that he's a negative man. Like, no, I don't, I don't believe that. But I just can't get with the whole huge congregation you can't come to him and speak to him it makes you feel that way because when i was there i was just kind of like it's like a concert <laughs> it's not church it feels like i just feel crazy i've come i come from a smaller well actually there's a lot of people there but it wasn't as huge and i was more comfortable at the church that i used to go to as a child but nowadays i um even put this in my blog i question my religion and i feel like do i even have one because I know I have a relationship with the Lord. I know I do. I speak to him every every night, every day. And he answers when I call, you know. Um, sometimes my question, is that enough? Is that enough? Well, back to what I was saying, I get kind of, I go kind of all over the place. But, um, yeah, this is just insanity. Like, I don't understand what's going on nowadays. It just, there's something going on that everyone doesn't know about. I really feel that. Um it's just crazy it's really 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 crazy and i really feel for every person affected i really do it just to have a sexual scandal in your church what kind of person are you seriously what kind of person are you it really feels so discouraging to people that are afraid to step foot in the church and i've said this before it's just like i feel like should I give my trust to you? Should I make you, as in Gia made a good m remark by saying that, as a middleman? I don't think so. I think I could talk to Lord myself, and I think he hears me just fine when, when I talk to him. And um, another thing, Dewan P was saying that we all have to answer. We do. We really do. We all have to answer in someone that you believe in. Once this is all over... I said we're in global warming. I think it's warming or warning. I don't know. I try to pay attention. Sorry. <laughs> um, and I really feel so. I really do. I'm from Connecticut. Connecticut isn't cold right now. From what I'm hearing. It's only in the 30s. I want juice. I'll give you juice. Hold on. He always does this to me. I can't do that thing. Right up my butt. Um, 
I'm hoping I make sense, you guys. And I really, you know, I just... Yeah, we're in global warming, warning, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and it's that time to get right. And for those people that feel that they need a church and they need a pastor to confide in or to put their trust in. Um, wow. How do they feel? You know, how do they feel about all this craziness that's surrounding churches? Especially the large televangelists and... I can, I, can all, I can honestly say, every time I've seen a televangelist or someone that was so popular from their congregation or whatever, you know, from their preaching and their word, um, I've always felt like, if you are of God, why do you want me on TV? You know, why do you want... I don't know. I just always look at... I don't know. Maybe I could be a little naive of that. Maybe because I don't know. Maybe I'm not, you know, because I'm not prophetic. I don't understand, you know people that are prophetic and they're supposedly prophetic and that's why God is supposedly making them so big so they, they can spread the word to everyone but I don't I don't believe in that I don't believe that Mama. I don't know I don't know <laughs> it's really really crazy so just get right everybody try your hardest get right you don't necessarily to me you know maybe because I'm not really all that understanding of it but I don't feel church is supposed to be so huge feel like your pastor's untouchable kind of all over the place because it's just still blowing my mind but that's my opinion is somewhere in there hope you got it <laughs> all right